Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, your cousin, your niece, your auntie, your sister, your BFF, and your mama, LWL. So welcome to this video. And it's been a long time since I got these hands working, but I'm going to show you guys how I did this beautiful crochet scarf. It is very simple, very easy, and let's just get right into it. All right, guys, so this is my first time using this type of yarn, and I was so excited. Um, it is the striping yarn. It is from Yarn Bee Sugar Wheel. Um, well, it's from Yarn Bee, and it's called Sugar Wheel, and the color is Go Go Coco. I thought that the colors were just so perfect for this time of year. It is fall. We are getting into that season, and who does not love browns, greens, and oranges? I mean, hello. So, all right, we're going to just get started. And so you guys know, I used this entire skein of yarn, made it so much easier so I didn't have to worry about um, counting. And things that you need, you only need scissors. Don't get any little wimpy ones like I have there. I ended up swapping them out for my bigger scissors. Um, if you wanted to measure, because you're maybe making it for a child or someone with a smaller neck, not like mine, um, you may want your tape measure. If you want to count rows, you may also want those um stitch markers and you will definitely though need a tapestry needle so because we're going to sew it up at the end so that's going to make the circle we don't have to work in rounds which is going to be a lot easier so um really quick i am using one of my favorite hooks it's very comfortable um it took me a while getting used to it but this is very very comfortable for my fingers and this is um i'm using a size h hook and it's a five millimeter okay so that is what I am using and let's just jump right into this if you guys use a bigger hook your stitches will be bigger if you use a smaller hook it'll take a little longer and your stitches will be smaller that's the only difference when it comes to hooks so we are going to start with in regular chain we are chaining a total of 37 so to start your chain you make a slip knot you just pretty much yarn over and pull through and kind of make a little knot everyone has different ways of creating a slip knot but you know whatever floats your boat that's how you go okay so start your chain you're going to yarn over and pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through very simple now guys if you can see um, or as you can see I like to hold um, my yarn a certain way that makes it easier to crochet so I'm actually kind of like working the needle and the yarn is kind of stationary I just end up gliding my hands upwards to keep the yarn straight and um, also the working part of the yarn and then the yarn that I've worked hopefully that makes sense to you guys um, but while again we're just chaining 37 and i just want to say thank you to all of you guys who have been rocking with me who have liked my tutorials because i'm not a teacher i am more of a visual person but i i didn't know if i could explain well but thank you guys for your kind words and so this is the chain 37 i just showed you guys that we're working um what is this we're working horizontally but we're going to rock the scarf vertically so to start the first row you are skipping a chain and you're going to do a single crochet I'm talking too much guys I'm sorry so you're going to insert your hook yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two insert your hook we're going into the back loops of the previous row the chain okay this is just a single crochet all the way throughout this scarf um, again you're going to go in from the second or into the second loop from the hook when we start so you go in to the back loop don't yarn over like I just did go into the back loop now you yarn over pull through one you have two on your hook yarn over and pull through those two that is a single crochet insert into the back loop yarn over pull through two on your hook yarn over pull through the two insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and at the end of this row you should have a total of 36 stitches that is what your total should be every time um, if you are um, good with not counting and knowing your stitches then this is an easy 
tutorial or an easy project where you don't necessarily have to count. But even with me, who I consider myself to be an intermediate crocheter, I like to count because I will get sloppy sometimes and then I notice that my work is not matching up. So if you can, just keep your count. I always count by tens. It makes it easier. So this is what our row is looking like so far. It's always a little bit difficult when you're starting off because the yarn doesn't know what to do. It's like curling up like a snail that has been hit with salt. Um, I mean, I don't want to kill a snail, but I'm just saying childhood memories. Okay, so this is the first row. And what we're going to do now, um, we're going to chain one when we get to the end of that row. And then we just turn our work. And we repeat the same thing the entire way. So you're going to go into the second loop from the hook. And again, we're going into those back loops only. So if you can see the V's on the top, we're going right into the ones that is farthest away from us. So I'm going to insert and pull through. And guys, I'm not one to re-record voiceovers, so forgive me if I sound a little bit anxious or whatever, or if I make mistakes, this is a one take shot. I don't even think that was right. I'm just gonna take this in one shot and it's a wrap. Um, I apologize, I am still, it's been so long since I've done my tutorials that I'm still out of focus with the um, camera, but just hold tight, you'll see, you'll see it in a moment. Again, I'm just going into the back loop of all of those stitches and doing a single crochet into them. All right, guys, so this is my second row. And again, we are just repeating the very same pattern. It does not get any easier than this. We are, we have chained one already and turned our work. So now again, we go right into that second stitch from the hook and we insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And we are repeating all the way until the end. Okay, guys. So this is the end of the third row. Um, so it's starting to lay a little bit flatter, which is what it will do once you continue to crochet. Again, remember, it will be worn vertically. Um, and it's supposed to self-stripe. So let's see how this works out. I'm excited to see how it's going to stripe. I really want it to be as even as possible. So if it's not, I'm gonna be a little bit upset, but um, we're gonna just hope for the best. Okay, so what you wanna do now is just continue to crochet the same pattern um, as the length that you want, whatever length you want it. Again, I use the whole skein, okay? So now here we go, guys, look at this. First of all, the striping is perfect like it literally started when it was supposed to start like the striping understood the assignment so we are good here um i am already in love with this scarf i'm in love with the colors um there's a couple of imperfections um and i'm going to tell you guys how to avoid that um you want to really worry about your tension how you are holding your needle um you don't want to do some um stitches loose and then others tight so you want to be very consistent so that way your your scarf lines up. I mean, you can have 36 stitches across, but some rows could be loose and some rows could be tight. So make sure your tension remains the same. All right. So right now I am finishing up my last row because um, I'm pretty much almost out of the brown and that will be the end of my skein. So I'm going into the back row again as before, getting some dust off of my... Um, table and I am going into the back loop and doing a single stitch and I'm just going to take that all the way to the end and then I'm just going to show you guys how I ended up sewing up the scarf it's nothing fancy but it definitely um, is secure you won't have to worry about it coming apart and um, these are so simple and easy to mix up guys 
will create a great gift for someone. The holidays are coming up. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial for a matching hat. So that way the, um, and what I mean by matching is I'll pick one of the colors in the scarves and I'll create a hat and it's going to just have the same stitching in it. So it looks like it's definitely a set. All right, guys, and then once you get to the end of this row, we're going to do our final row, which is pretty much going to be like our foundation row, which was the chain. We are going to um, slip stitch into every chain across or every previous stitch across. So we get to the end of the row. We are going to chain one, turn our work, and to slip stitch, we're going to insert underneath both of the Vs on the um, previous row so you're putting your hook underneath both loops pulling through and pull and just pulling through you're going to make sure that again your tension is not too tight you want it to not squeeze or cinch up the previous row so you're just going to wiggle your hook a little bit to make sure that it's not too tight so you insert again under both loops I'm sorry and you yarn over and you pull through insert under both yarn over pull through insert under both yarn over pull through so that is a slip stitch that is going to be our foundation ending chain and you're going to do that all the way to the end once you get to the end here you're going to just leave a long enough tail with your yarn so that way you have enough room for um, stitching and sewing up I'm sorry the uh, scarf all right guys so we are at the end of the row um, again you're just going to pull the yarn through and make sure you leave enough so that way um, you have a, enough yarn to do the sewing of it and I'm going to go in and get my tapestry needle you want to make sure you get one that's easy to thread so you get one of the bigger needles and um, you're going to then thread your yarn and start with the sewing together of the two ends. doesn't have to be um, a specific whipple stitch or anything like that. Like I'm just literally going in and I'm sewing it shut. So I'll show you guys. Very easy. You don't have, not much talent required to sew this together. Okay. So I'm just going to match up the scarf. and just make sure my sides are as even as I can get them um, again which is why I stress the importance of counting in your tension but once you put this scarf on if you have some that are a little bit wider some rows that are a little bit wider it's okay no one will even be able to detect it so you'll be fine all right so now we're going to grab our ends and we're going to get ready to just sew them together so you start from the end that already has the yarn attached and you just start sewing um. all right guys so I'm literally just going in one side pulling the thread through I'm going in the other side pulling it through and just alternating going in and out and getting that to cinch the two pieces together um, again very simple very easy to do so you just want to make sure that you do hold the two pieces together make sure that you are um, combining them as straight as possible all right so we've taken that down all the way to the end we got them all together and what we're going to do at this point I just kind of take my yarn and I pull it through um, just a little bit more in and out so that way there it leaves a tail so less error for ripping or shredding should I say or coming apart and then I tie a knot in it and then I cut it off and we are good to go and this is the result like I am really really pleased I think it came out great um, I love how the single stitch created such a little fancy pattern and um, yeah I love it I hope you guys love it as well hope you have a great time um, creating this it this took me um, a couple of days as you can see my nails are different from the first time that I actually started it um, you know that's life but I it took me a couple of days but if I sat down and wanted to create it and finish it in one day 
I'd say it may be like a three hour project because of the, the amount of rows and the size of the hook. So again, hope you guys like it. Please make sure that you thumbs up this video, comment, and subscribe to the channel, guys, for more tutorials. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. LWL. Smooches, y'all. You are beautifully and wonderful.